morning, Quad Copter 101 here with a continuation of my uh, Keeper series. Those Quad Copters that I feel that are just too good to donate <laughs> that, I have, that I've held on to. And this one, as you can see here, is the XK Detect X380. Now the X380 is a GPS, it's a, actually a low cost GPS Quad Copter running somewhere between two to three hundred dollars, but it's a very capable GPS Quad Copter, very good GPS Quad Copter in that uh, in addition to having a GPS in it that uh, is, has rapid lock-on, we're talking seconds as compared to minutes to other quadcopters in this price range. This thing will, if it's you know properly uh, been calibrated, uh, the, or the compass has been calibrated, this thing locks on in, in about seconds. Um, I'm talking about under 10 seconds, and you're ready to go, and that's pretty darn good. But another thing I like about this is, as compared to others in this price range, is its potential for uh, extended range flying and extended dur uh, endurance flying. Uh, this thing is advertised with its transmitter at up to about a thousand meters range. Uh, that's up to, of course, you're, you're not always going to get that. That's under optimal conditions, along with 25 minutes of flight time. Now that also is not under optimal, or that is under optimal conditions. That means with a bare quadcopter, without anything uh, hanging beneath it, not, you know, not uh, requiring anything, you know, additional power to lift it just by itself. Yeah, maybe this can get about 25 minutes. But once you add uh, cameras to it and other power requirement requirements, such as a gimbal, a gimbal is a big uh, power drain, uh, adding both weight requirement to lift the quadcopter or to lift a lot of extra weight along with the power requirements for the gimbal expect that flight time to drop dramatically okay gimbals you know if you're gonna fly this with a gimbal I wouldn't fly more than 10 to 15 minutes <laughs> keep it in that range there you go any higher you're going to run out of juice with the battery the 5400 milliamp hour battery is just gonna run out of power for this quadcopter now an issue with this quadcopter is it does say it's supposed to return to home if the battery is depleted, but it is not very dependable. Um, I would not depend on it. There have been too many quadcopters that have dropped out of the sky, and I'm almost certain most of those are caused by flying for too long of a prolonged period or with a battery that may have been uh, past its prime. So I prefer to keep my flights about 10 minutes, and that's what we're going to do today with this flight. And what I got on it today, if you would notice, is an FPV transmitter. Um, it's the Boscam TS351 $15 transmitter. Very easy to hook up to this quadcopter. You know, you just plug it into the plus or minus 12 volt on the side of the quadcopter and then plug it into your run cam camera if you have, happen to have one and you're good to go. So that turns this GPS quadcopter with the FPV system into what I call a uh, FPV Explorer. That's a FPV quadcopter with a GPS that you can send out over a large tract of land to survey it uh, using GPS. And that's what we're going to do today. We're out here in the desert. It's a beautiful day out here in the desert. We had about three days of wind and rain. That's why you haven't seen any videos for the past three days. <laughs> but today, I am going to send this out and we're gonna follow some of the roads around here uh, just via FPV. So I hope you enjoy this flight of the XK Detect X380. Let's go do it. Okay, we got the green light on the uh, quadcopter indicating that I have GPS lock on. It took about 20 seconds to get that. Now for FPV flying today, I am going to use my Ishin VR007 uh, goggles. Now I got these from uh, Banggood, actually. And I think they're pretty, here, let me plug it in. I'm showing you how you plug it in. But I think they're pretty good uh, goggles. Um, they run about uh, between $60 to $70. I don't know if you can see inside here, but that's the FPV view you get with it. But, uh, you know, it's not high resolution goggles, but they're more than sufficient to fly this, especially on sunny days like today. So I hope you enjoy this flight. I am going to try to record uh, the FPV video that I receive using my Sky 702 here. I have a camera inside there that's going to record it. But uh, first off, let's get into the air. And to do such with the... Uh, XKX380, all you got to do is press this button here and hold it down for about two seconds. And this automatically takes off. And it should hold its position if we have a good GPS lock. It, it goes up to about a, a meter. And then you just check its uh, stability. And it's holding its position very well. So I think we're good to go here. 
I am going to turn it around and face it toward myself here. Give it a little more altitude too. So there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to suit up with my goggles. Hope you enjoy this flight. And I'm going to put my camera on the ground. And I'm going to stand beside this because both my camera and this are pro uh, producing or providing audio. So uh, you'll be able to hear my commentary when I sync up the videos later. So take it off my shades. Putting them there. Putting on the goggles. We should be good to go, folks. And turning the quadcopter around. Let's go for a ride down the road. Let me take it up a little bit higher so I don't hit any bushes. And there we go. Pitch it forward. With the uh, XK X380. XK Detect X380. Well, like I said, I think this is an excellent GPS Explorer quadcopter. I'm banking to the left too much here. Let me get on the road. I'm going to try to stay along the road in case there are any problems. I'll be able to find the quadcopter by just driving up the road here. Notice my wife's not with me today. She has a uh, beauty appointment. <laughs> but uh, if I stay low, stay along the road, I think I should be good here without her help. Find a more, little more altitude here as we go down the road. But yeah, with one of these, uh, you know what I call the explorers, you should be able to go out and cover large tracts of land. I got to get a little more altitude here to improve my FPV reception. Sorry, folks, I'm just a little too low. Um, if you have a large tract of land that you need to survey, I, I saw one of my viewers say he needs something to look for alligators. <laughs> yeah, you might be able to do that with this. Okay, we're a good. 200, 300 meters away here. I'm at a fork in the road. Uh, I'm going to take the right fork. Pretty cool, huh? Being able to survey this thing. Yeah, we're about 300 meters right now. I don't want to go too much further. Yeah, I'm over the gully here. Turn it around. Forward now. Right, this boat. Yeah, I'm in heading lock boat, folks. The whole time there I was flying in heading lock, I turned around and it didn't want to go forward. Now I'm out of heading lock. Stupid me, yeah. I'm going, what the heck? It keeps going further and further away. Okay, we're out. We were out about 300 meters and I was in heading lock mode and it just kept going toward the, the uh, heading that I had pointed it, or I had found the quadcopter when I had. Uh, Initialize the part. Okay, we're going over the gully now. Double check. You don't need go home. The other switch is go home. One switch is heading lock, and one switch is go home, and apparently I had it in heading lock mode. Flying over the gully. This is a fantastic uh, Explorer quad cup, as you see here. About 300 meters away, maybe more. Fly back to work myself I'm over here somewhere. Some I hear it. Oh, I'm over there. Let's fly over, fly over my position here. Come down a little lower. See me below, folks. In case you didn't see me, come down a little lower so you can see me. Prove that I am an FPV. <laughs> Such cool quadcopter, huh? X380. You know, I think this is one of the optimal. If you want to do what I'm doing right now, FPV exploring, this is one of the optimal ones to get. In this price range, two to three hundred dollars. 
very good for doing such. Flying over the desert, exploring it. So let's take this road. Well, you don't need a road with this. <laughs> but again, I'm staying close to the road, so I'll be able to find it in case something happens. In case I go down, I'm going to drop a little bit here. I was feeling comfortable on this bushes. Off in this direction here. Fantastic work. Now, um, I wanted to talk about battery life. You know, I mentioned that. I see a lot of people saying, oh, my quadcopter fell from the sky. You know, some of those are due to faulty quadcopters, but I got a feeling a lot of them are also due to user error. You know, you just don't want to fly this for 25 minutes. It's not going to get it, especially if you're using something to power it. Or if you're powering other devices or carrying things, like I mentioned. So, you're doing such, you might want to consider, like I said, keeping your flights relatively short. Follow the road. I'll leave it there. Right there. Right there for a second. Rotate it around the area. Altitude survey, I'm about 100 feet up or so. so. Like I said, this is a wonderful product for doing exactly what I'm doing here. bearing which way I'm turned okay so if I'm going down the road that way I'm heading north northeast okay. I lost my bearings in my head because I got these goggles on and I can't uh, get a point myself toward the quadcopter <laughs> if you hear the quadcopter the distance point yourself toward it it'll help you uh, maintain your orientation there about 300 meters out again well, I'm going to be bringing it in here. You know, I'm getting close to 10 minutes. I think I forgot to turn on my timer. <laughs> so I don't want to fly too long. Pushing forward. And I lost the signal. Let me level it out a bit. Make sure I'm pointing in the right direction. There we go. If you lose signal, try leveling out. Especially if you got a GPS. Just level out so your antenna uh, orientation and uh, adjust accordingly. Bring it in now. Way off in the distance there. We're bringing it in from an angle here. Over the desert. And low end up again. Well, this was a cool flight. I enjoyed it. <laughs> the Exploring XKX380. Hello there. And I'm going to land here. Here's that take off from over here. Okay. Let me point a trap back toward me. Where am I? There I am. Taking off my goggles, folks. Going back to visual. <laughs> and uh, turning off my goggles because I want to use them for a follow-on flight with another air aircraft. And putting back my shades. Damn, the sunlight out here is bright. Was that recording? You know, I forgot to turn that on, so obviously we're not going to see uh, <laughs> FPV. I'm sorry about that, folks. Forgot to turn it on. But I'm putting this over a flat spot of land right about there. And notice how easy this thing is to land. You just press that button, hold it down for two seconds, and it does it all itself. Excellent quadcopter. XKX380, one of my keepers. Definitely one of my keepers. Let me let me disarm it now. 
So overall, that was an enjoyable flight. Very enjoyable, very easy to do. I don't recommend this quadcopter for beginners though, uh, because you have to have the ability to bring this back <laughs> in case you lose orientation or, or in case there's issues. This is, again, is for uh, intermediate flyers uh, and above. Um, I've seen too many people flying these over populated areas. That is not something you want to do with a big quadcopter such as this. You know, beginner, make beginner's mistakes like that flying it over populated pe over people. You do not want to fly this over people. This will kill somebody if it comes down on them hard enough. Okay, but anyways, again, this is one of my keepers, the XK X380. Hope you enjoyed that flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.